Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Skullgirls Get Great. This is the audio test we will be starting soon. Please let me know if any of the commentators this week are a little too loud or a little too quiet. We want all of us to be about equally as loud and the game should be just barely audible. If there are any recommendations that you would like to provide, please feel free to do so. We want the stream to be just perfect for you. Hopefully I'm not capping out the mic. It looks like it's alright. In a little bit of red flashing. That's good. It's all good. We shall have a couple of guests joining us pretty soon. I'm expecting that anyway. I feel like I'm forgetting something mildly important. Apparently I'm not forgetting that. Oh yeah, I didn't make matchups. I should probably do that. I actually just jumped straight into streaming. Wow, I didn't do like 80% of the things I'm supposed to do. Well, sit tight ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make sure everything is fully set up for your viewing pleasure. How's everyone doing today? Actually, I'll keep the memes going. I don't think anyone's here yet. I guess I got a bit of time. We are starting way earlier than usual. <laughs> and by earlier than usual, I mean right on time. Hopefully people start shuffling in soon. Meanwhile, I'll be making the matchups. We got a couple of people floating around in chat. Not really saying anything, that's okay. Good to know that I am indeed live. That would have been awkward. Hmm. Decent amount of people signing up. Pretty cool. Hello. Hello. Sam, welcome. Friends are here. I'm Penny dying. has also arrived. Penny, you've been dying? I've been reading V3 fanfiction. And I didn't... It's the greatest. Why, did, why does everyone love Walmart brand Harry Potter? No, this is, Wait, this is good. No, this is, no, this is really good. This is just everyone's in a text group chat, and they're memeing and being idiots. Oh, that's actually adorable. And I love that. It's too... Too good. Kukichi, like the, the the ultimate liar, is just like he's got a name from Lazy Town. Boom, boom! I am a prince, and they were like talking about like his fame, and he just links it to the video. <laughs> Pretty great. Got I love, I love that in them. fandom in general. Like whenever it's like a Snapchat or just like a text conversation, but it's not real people. Yeah. yeah. There was a Tumblr that was dedicated for doing that for Skullgirls characters. It was, but they would, what they would do is they would take real text conversations from like people who were drinking or whatever. 
and then just replace the people with char Skullgirls characters, and it was really, really good. <laughs> people are doing that a lot with the new Fire Emblem characters, and it's heckin' good. The Gaun the the Gaunta one was really good. You were Gaunta saying just, he just he just types in auto complete auto correct. He ain't because typing. <laughs> He's going to get tight. <laughs> I want a friend who strictly talks to me in autocorrect. I feel like that would be hilarious. Yeah. Like, and I don't want it to be like a like a candid thing or anything like that. I just want it to be like a like that, yeah. That's just them. That's what they do. Like this this asshole over here. Anytime he wants to communicate, he'll only communicate with like like <laughs> fucking autocorrect bullshit. I've done that sometimes, and I want to get I've someone done that up. Too. <laughs> like, I'll just push like the first recommended word over and over again. Get <laughs> someone up. It's <laughs> amazing. Um, one of my friends, hey. um, before his smartphones were wide and popular, what he would do is his phone had like pre-entered texts that he can use in case he's quickly trying to message somebody, and they were all really tacky and bad. Like. It was trying to sound hip, and it ended up just sounding kind of creepy more than anything else. And, like, one of the ones was, like, if you're trying to tell your friend that you are uh, have shown up and you're ready to pick them up or something like that, it was just, like, it, it was something so weird. It was, like, hey, yo, I'm at the garbage disposal. Get your butt in gear or something like that. And I, I was just, good. Like, who says this? Do, do people say this? It's like a good. Anyone say I'm, that? I'm just. I'm sitting here dying. I forgot how much I liked Danganronpa around the characters, and now I'm just sitting here drowning in it. I don't know what to do. I I see a lot of people. All right, so like I've re I learned how to reappreciate a lot of things thanks to TikTok, and it's really kind of dumb. And like one of the things that's like super viral on TikTok is anything Junko related or just Danganronpa characters, and I mm. like. No matter how hard I try, no matter how good the cosplay is, I'm just like, I still don't understand how any of these characters are good. Like, Celeste was cool. No one cosplays as her, but Celeste was cool. That's, she was dope. She's, she's in my head. Um, Kaide was the third one's main character, right? Mm -hmm. She was dope. Um, I actually didn't like her. Why? I think she's boring. What? I think she's super generic and boring. Compared to someone like Kokichi, who's just such a dingus. <laughs> is Kokichi the second one or the first one? Third. Oh, the He's the short dude. The, the really bad detective? No, that's Suichi. Kokichi's the, uh... He's, he was, looks like he's wearing Hot Topic. He's got, like, the checkered... He like, oh, yeah, he, he's the one that looks like a chessboard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, Sam, I have a gif for you real quick. It's important. Um... Give me, give Never me, say Jif in my give, house ever again. I have it, a, 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 a excuse jif. me, it it's pronounced Jif. I have a Jif. Pronounced peanut butter. I have a peanut butter for you. This is this is good <laughs> peanut butter. I like the peanut butter a lot. <laughs> I don't know, it's a little bit cheesy. Hey, I don't eat cheese with peanut butter. <laughs> Nobody, I, I don't even eat peanut that's, butter because it's disgusting. What? What? I mean, he's wrong. I'm I am always right. Heck ye. Peanut butter is like the worst thing to ever be created. Don't you add me. Don't ever say that again. Sam, have you had both types of peanut butter and have you confirmed this? Because normally people like one type of the peanut butter and think the other one is Satan. It's like always one of the two. I'm gonna assume by your stunned silence that you don't realize so that sorry. there are two types of peanut butter. No, I don't realize there's two types of peanut butter. And honestly, I wouldn't try any of them because I hate peanut butter. What did you not like about peanut butter, Sam? It tastes like peanuts. So get the smooth one. Yeah, that's what I was that I was gonna say. It's like you either like the crunchy one and think the smooth one is Satan, or vice versa. You probably had the crunchy one and think the smooth one is Satan because or I mean had the crunchy one and thought the smooth uh, all of them were Satan because they didn't have the smooth one yet. That's fine. Smooth don't got peanuts. I mean it do, but it don't. It's made of peanuts, but like you don't What's taste the, the peanuts. It's really creamy and tasty. Well, that's no fuck that. Have you had Have you had Nutella? It's just chocolate spread, but it's also made with peanuts. I have had Nutella. Had, did you, had, uh, did you dislike and Nutella? It tasted, it, it tasted like peanuts. Understandable. Have you had ketchup? Yes. Do you like peanuts. tomatoes? No. 
Yes, yeah, smooth peanuts. <laughs> but yeah, ketchup is to tomatoes like smooth peanut butter is to peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> See, Penny gets it. I yeah, understand. I, I understand a hundred percent what you're saying. Because <laughs> I, I agree, totally perfect. <laughs> yeah, wheels, like, sound check. Okay, but kind of on the lower side. But but maybe think, I'm high. Training wheels, are you high? Sounds, it sounds all fine to me. Hold on, I'm 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 doing the quick Samarini test. Um, all the audio levels look pretty good. I look a little loud more than anything. Training wheels, you might want to just turn up your Twitch. I was in the middle of making matchups, so we got into a very controversial topic. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Important discussion. Oh. Yeah, go for it. That was it. Nice, nice. <laughs> I, I, all the I'm gonna check again, but like all the volume just seems fine, so it does. Cool. I'm totally okay with that. I'm just gonna assume training wheels is high. That's pretty much. Is anyone in chat played three houses? <laughs> Brandon apparently plays three together. houses and was defending it like crazy, and I was upset. He's wrong. He chose the yellow house. I came, I came back, and I was just like, free house." Wait, was this a, was this a part of the was this a part of the conversation that I was too drunk to remember? Or yeah, oh, okay, okay. Well, I wasn't actually too drunk to remember. I remember everything that happened last night. Unfortunately, I, unfortunately, uh, sounded like you're having fun. I was. The thing is, like, I've only been, like I get blackout drunk multiple, multiple times, but I've only ever lost my memory once and it was when i didn't even drink that much i drank seven shots and that was it and like for some uh, there were some shots of kraken i guess and i was i guess I, there were all to three or four beers involved i lost count um but like i don't remember 95 percent of that night that was the night i tweeted yeah. at obama like i, I don't you know i don't remember one. anything someone told me about like asking the president something so i started oh, tweeting no. at obama <laughs> like that apparently that's what happened i also apparently sang a lot and Threatened to murder a lot of people. I did not realize that I did this. These are all positives. It's all been recorded. <laughs> These are all positives. <laughs> no dying sights here. <laughs> but see, like, if there was going to be a night I didn't remember, like, that was a good one, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, oh, maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe I'll just start forgetting everything. That sounds fantastic. And I didn't forget anything last night. So I guess I'm just back to usual stuff. Manigans. But now you remember that you had a good time. Yeah, I also I love remember I have I... lovely friends that answer my phone calls when I'm drunk. Yeah! <laughs> I, I remember, like, hearing from somebody once that's just, like, the best way to, like, determine how good of a night you had out is how much it fucked you up. Oh my god, <laughs> last night was amazing. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> last night was amazing. I, I don't have eyes. I don't have eyes! <laughs> No, real talk though, when uh, you called, I was in a league game with Sam and Draco. I was uh, making Draco super mad at me. Hi. Um, hi. <laughs> because oh, yeah, Draco yeah, says yeah. that we FF too early in league. Oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah. And we were in a game that was like 22 to 0. And I just kept going, guys, we can't FF. It's still winnable if their power goes out. Draco was getting mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Draco doesn't know how to have fun. There was, but, there, was a, there was a point like in the next game where like, at, like four minutes. I, we like lost first blood and just like uh, guys I have a suggestion in like 12 minutes <laughs> let's <laughs> surrender <laughs> um, but I literally like when you called me I just unplugged my heckin headset because I was just enjoying listening to you guys have fun heck those guys I don't need them well, it, was fuck you. it was fun fuck you too <laughs> you should have joined the call crank heck you uh, I didn't think I had I don't think I had enough brain power to realize that discord was a thing at the time <laughs> yeah 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 but you should have joined the call. You're still. You're st I just picked up my phone, and apparently my phone was open to the phone chat, phone app thing, and I'm just like, who would be a funny person to call right now? <laughs> and I remembered vividly that I called myself turning into a phone in somewhere at some point, which apparently was Sam's general. And then I'm like, yeah, Sam's people. And they called Penny, because I don't have your number, Sam. I don't That's think your family funny. wants me to have your number. I <laughs> don't think my family. <laughs> You know, fuck them. I'll send you my numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's a case of just like it's mostly like just not viable for me personally to call you because it would cost a lot. Yeah. Like, because whenever like I phoned like Rachel and like my phone bills usually like twenty a month, mm -hmm. but whenever I phoned like Rachel for like half an half an hour to like a few hours to like for like a week, mm -hmm. um. It cost. It went up to like ninety pound. It was like, oh my god. Yeah. Maybe it's better for both of us if we don't have each other's. <laughs> wow. That, no, we're gonna have. No, we're each having other. each other's. 
We're, no, we're just going to have each other's numbers, but we're never going to use it. Just <laughs> write it down a piece of paper. Don't even put it in your phone. Can I text you? Is, like, is texting a thing? You can text, yeah. I can drunk text you. This is everything. I Perfect. <laughs> yeah. you so, I have a person named Jar of Dirt free. that's signed up for today. Um, but the weird thing is Jar of Dirt has 50 hours and they signed up for Intermediate. So either yeah, they're right. a PSN player, and they're really good, or they came from other fighting games, and they're really good. Because there's only been I like say... one other person that actually was justifiably Intermediate that had 50 hours or less in the last three years. Yeah. I say heck it. Put them in Intermediate anyway, see how it goes. Yeah. Was, uh, they want specifically was... Peacock knowledge, I think. So okay. Peacock matchup knowledge, not even Peacock knowledge. Um, peacock matchup. If there's knowledge. not a Peacock player, I can do it probably. Yeah, well, I mean, easy. either way, we can just talk about it either way. When yeah. I'm putting up against Dry Eyes, so it's just gonna be a solo band. Also, Penny. Mm -hmm. Saw you earlier playing that Street Fighter Five. What are you doing? <laughs> Poison came out, and Poison's pretty cool. All right, fair enough. Wait, I actually wait. Poison wasn't in the game? No. <laughs> Not until, like, like, yesterday. Wait, what What game was she in? Was she in uh, 4? Four? Four. Four. Yeah. She was in 4, yeah. Poison wasn't in Street Fighter V this entire time. Neither was, uh, That's Ihanda. why the crowd was cheering so much during EVO. There was a yeah. trailer with yeah. Poison, and I'm like, yeah, well, why is everyone freaking out so much about Poison? Yeah. She's <laughs> cool, I guess. Um, I like actually... Honda, which surprised the fuck out of me. I thought he was in the game. <laughs> I, I enjoy... I really enjoy playing Street Fighter V. I think it's fun. It the just, more I watch it, the more I realize good. how fucking boring it is. I don't know. It, yeah, um, it is. <laughs> it's fun to play. You're not wrong. Um, it's not good, but that's fine. Like, I have plenty of shitty games I play all the time. Yeah, it's like uh, Marvel Infinite Cross Tag for me, where I'm like, this game sucks, but heck, it's fun to play. Yeah. I think I think the only like fun I would have in that game is with Abigail. <laughs> probably. Fucking giant dude. And you probably oh, that, still that's his name. I thought his name was Birdie for some reason. Birdie's in a different game. I probably also like Birdie. No, Birdie's also five. What? Yeah. Who's Birdie? Uh, Birdie? He's the dude with the chain and the food. Oh. He's the big giant fat guy. So he is. Whatever. I'd still. <laughs> if I actually played Street Fighter, I'd want to play the heck out of him. That character's awesome. Which one? Uh, Manat. It's, it's just the it's that? just the Skullgirls character in Street Fighter Five. Yeah, yeah. So they put oh, Eliza. Is that the Eliza looking one? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's the one with the cat egg fit, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. she's like Egyptian. I'm pretty sure someone at Capcom said that line like word for word, where it's like she she has a cat costume because she's Egyptian or something, and Egyptians worship cats, I guess. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I still think the best costume ever is the Blanco one. <laughs> that one's terrifying. I am that so happy that exists. <laughs> we were talking about the one where he looks like a Pop Tart, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wait. I am so happy that exists. It's like a, it's like a shitty like doll version of him or something like that. <sighs> it's, it's really good. Also, Crank, you need to play Factorio. I got back into it. It's so good. Did they finish the game yet? It's it's finished. It's feature. It like all the features they've done is now finished. They're just polishing it now. They recently did a huge graphic update, and now it's like high textures and high res textures and all this thing. Cool. Maybe the brown will look um, prettier. Uh, I will definitely play that game once it is finished. Because that was one of those games where yeah. I just did not want to play unfinished. There are some games I do want to play unfinished. Skullgirls is an example. Mm -hmm. There are other games I do not want to play unfinished. Factorio is a prime example because yeah, having I, something I can, unfinished in Factorio can literally make or break the game. Yeah, because I I can also like um I can also see that because with Factorio, if like they add something that like changes like oh you probably want this to make it more optimal, then it fucks up your entire setup for like you know an automation factory. That's why I was kind of hesitant because like I stopped I stopped playing it because was like I'll wait till this is finished. Um, but they're very slow in their updates. Apparently, it's now like completely fe like the features are all there. They're just polishing up now. They have PvP in it now. You know, it took so strange. long for my brain to like have concrete proof that training wheels on ice and training wheels were two different people. Wait, those are two different people? Yeah, those are two different. What people, the? Right? I just realized right now that their Discord names are different. Like, I, in in Get Great, we both have training wheels and training wheels on ice. And I was so sure that they oh were different God, people because right. they act so different.
But, like, there's no way there were two different people. I now have concrete proof that they're two different people. Oh my god, you're right. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. The lore we learn. <laughs> what? I'm me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Never mind, that was very conclusive. Second monitor stopped working at Mad. What's going on? Played Fire Emblem before it became Waifu Simulator. I'm sorry. That's what was bad. Like the only thing good about Fire Emblem is the fact that it's a Waifu Simulator. Ooh. That's me. I used to play on PS4. Fuzzy Banana. Oh, that's Jar of Dirt. Hey there, buddy. Yes. Yeah. Um, I am. Am I in the roster? Yes. You tried to play, um, Elfeld Valentine too, and it was stupid. Uh. Renewal said he wouldn't said he wouldn't say drop para. I don't understand what? if you have split personality disorder or what's going on. I'm confused. This is training wheels on ice. Yeah, I can tell, but your Twitch name is Training Wheels on Ice. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh my god, okay. We me and Sam were playing um Zero Escape. We tried playing Zero Escape. Oh, but... We tried playing Zero Escape, let's just say. The main character is dumber than any Danganronpa protagonist I've seen. Dude yeah. looks out into the water, and he's like, oh, is there water here? <laughs> it's, it's, so... like, um, it's like the... Because of how AI works in, on bad games, like the AI and MGSV, like, they just have a specific range they can see, and other otherwise they just have a brain seizure. So, normally it's fine because there's walls everywhere and that never comes into play, but there's one area that's just open space and they'll be like 10 feet in front of you and they're like, was well, something moving? As you're just like slowly walking around him, like... That can good. Yeah, this, this Zero Escape thing is a... Uh, it's a struggle. It's like an Escape the Room Flash game with worse graphics. The... Hmm. Is um, Zero Escape the first person no. shooter? No, no it's um... the other Spike Chunsoft game or whatever. Monica played it a lot, so she did. Zero escape. Um, yeah, yeah, zero escape. The non-ary games. Never mind. Never mind. Um, oh! Nine hours, nine, oh! Hours, nine days, something like that. Now Thank I people. remember. Yes, it is the Danganronpa wannabe. I remember this. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. That's how okay, it feels okay. so far. It's... It's it's bad. <laughs> There's nothing to say there. Yeah, that's good enough. A it's like we we were like we were playing it. And we were like, all right, let's give this a fair shot, all right? Um, and it was so boring. <laughs> it's so slow. It was so slow. It's not even like puzzles. Yeah, because there's some part like they like at the very start they're like their like main game mechanic is um, what did they call it digit number digit digital numbers or something like that uh radio head yeah something like that where it's like, <laughs> no, it's like band. where it's like it's like all the numbers added up and you <laughs> single digit number so for example like one two three the digit number that would be six so it would because you're adding one and two and three I mean, i'm just saying um, but one might argue that none of any of those games are really puzzles. Yeah. I mean, yeah. One of them is yeah. just you race along the highway and run into girl signs and they flip into your car. It's not really <laughs> a puzzle. I, yeah, I wouldn't call that Danganronpa a puzzle game, but Zero Escape presents itself like it should be, and then it isn't. It's like, did you ever play the, um, the spooky room that Nagito was in? In 2? What? The, the death room or whatever. It, the game gave you an option to skip it because it was an actual puzzle thing. Well, I never and... played any of the games. I started to play three for like thirty <gasps> minutes, and that was about it. Uh, you'd love the puzzle room in two. That's your thing. Yeah. Okay. I watched. I mean, I'm assuming Sunset did it because I watched this Sunset. Is... I think she play she all it. of the game. I, I know. I know you've seen it. You've seen it before, Crank, because you've talked about it. Where it's like the the like Russian roulette thing. Oh yeah. yeah. Then I yeah. That's my yeah. like my favorite scene. Yeah. The. The thing before that is the is the uh, escape the room. I'm pretty sure it. Sunset said so she skipped that part. Did she? Oh. I think so. Do you not get the Russian roulette part if you skip it? You still no, you get didn't. it. You just don't have to do oh, the puzzle. Well, I only saw the Russian roulette part. So. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure she skipped the actual puzzle part. But that part was yeah, fun. Dude, that was cool. Dude, you can talk to I think it's Monami, where like 
Wait, which one is the... Is it Monami? Is yes, the... Monami. Okay, because I can't remember between that and the other and the Monocub yeah, one. The Monocub is Monof Mono Fanny. <laughs> Mono Fanny, yeah, that's right. Also, yeah, no, Hydra me, and it, It's Hydra are two different people. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, uh, this is confusing. <laughs> this is too much for me. This is far too much. Um, no, but like you keep talking to Monami, and she's just like, "Wow, I, I, this this is really hard, isn't it? I'll skip it for you. I'll magic so. you to the future." <laughs> I'll do it. It will cost all my magic. <laughs> what kind of what kind of puzzles are there? Uh, there was some binary junk with flashing lights, and you had to like map it out. And there was de you had to know binary to get through it. I know that much. Um, what was it was also one. Of, it was also one of those ones where like um, like most games of that type, like especially even like the non games, it sort of deal would be like they'd say something that you pick up or something. The game is literally just like you pick up the object and it doesn't say a damn thing about it. This one had an Othello puzzle. That was cool. The puzzle was really cool. So yeah. it was like the escape the room was actually good. You know Othello, right, Kirk? What I spaced out. What? Uh, it has a Othello puzzle. The hecky flip over the tiles and the things change colors. Oh, Othello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was cool. And it was like that and binary combined to get one of the things, which was oh, cool. Wasn't, wasn't that the one that you, like, wasn't that the part that you made me do? Because I was like, I want to do it because I like those ones. I don't remember. No, 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 that's not Othello. No, oh, okay. But I know what you're talking about and I hate those. Yeah, I fucking love those ones. They're my favorite type of puzzle. They're my least favorite because I just mash. Yeah, you're having trouble focusing there, friend. I uh, I don't understand how this is. I What's happening? the sun is going through my blinds and it is hitting <laughs> my body so hard that it is reflecting off my body and making it impossible to see my desktop screen. <laughs> Have you tried taking off the mirror? Have I tried taking you off tried... my skin? Yeah, I was about or to say, mirror, I tried but... taking off your skin. Have you tried wrapping yourself in a non-fluorescent light? <laughs> I just need to turn on the dark bulb. Yeah, 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 just turn on the dark. I hate fucking Twitter. Is there a way I can turn this off? No. I Like, you can't... This is stupid. I hate it, too. We die like men. Uh, Dan Salvato has made a new tier list of Smash theme songs. That's alright. Based on how enjoyable and satisfying they are to hum. I think I I think um, Brawl was like really high until the new one. Like, uh, what do you call it? This Brawl is super low tier. If I knew anything I about Brawl's... making digital music, I would have had the confidence to actually make a mashup. I like themed out a mashup in my head where I can just make all four of them into one song. That was great. That'd be dope. Yeah. It's okay. just like whenever like I hear Smash and I am always just like da 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 And then uh, comes Brawl. Ted Zavato also made a comment saying, Why does everyone love humming the Brawl theme so much? It's like every few notes your character trips and you have to wait for them to get up. Uh, <laughs> the Brawl theme is more fun to sing than hum. Yeah. Fa li la la. <laughs> I'll diva from mom. Leaves. And I forgot the rest. I used to have the whole song memory. Omnibus. Omnibus. That's what he says. <laughs> it's, um, it's Latin. It's Omnibus. No, it's Ilius. It's Omnibus. All diva for mom. Ilius. There was a there was a legendary man. His name was Ilius. Yeah, that was the start. But there's a part where he says Omnibus. It's only like I don't know where in the song, but he does say Omnibus. <laughs> So, yeah, sure. Since you like Flane, I'm sending you a tweet. It's very important. Since I like what, Ty? Since you like Flane. It's very important. Flane? Yeah, the little girl that likes fish. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna space out for a bit so I can actually get the sign-ups out, because we went from okay. being 15 minutes early to 12 minutes late. One sec. Alright, dope. <laughs> 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 
freaking Edo guy. <laughs> I love her. I love how it's the brother. It's just like you, you gotta, you gotta help her. <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> That's such a good. Ugh, I love that game. She joined the like, Minecraft server. <laughs> so good. I love that game. Hey, everybody in chat and Sam and Crank, but maybe less Crank because it's a lot of time. Okay. Go play Three Houses. <laughs> crank, go play Three Houses. Fuck, fuck you, Penny. Just tell Crank to go play Three Houses. I can't tell him what to do. Yeah, you can. But I can tell him what to do. You can't tell us what to do. Fuck you. Yeah, you can. No blend us. Tonight. Yesterday, we just watched, uh, we played cross tagging, though you said no. I win. <laughs> That is true, but that was because there was nothing else that was going to happen. To yeah. Honest. And I got tilted really quickly. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> was it because I play bad? No, it's because I don't think you saw any button that wasn't the DP button on your controller. It was It was just not fun. <laughs> it wasn't. I just, Hello, everybody. I breathe air. Me too. It's just... I don't see the point in like playing that game anymore because like I just don't get it. You can't say that. Blitz is gonna get come it. out. It's only yeah, it's the only thing that I've got to look forward to. Like right now, I don't want to play it. Who are you gonna play him with? Fuck if I know, probably Wald because it's the only character I have. Well, then get better with Wald. I can't. There's a reason. I can't. I don't get what I'm doing, so I can't get better. But I, that's what I'm here to help with. Yes, just yes, like we are. our stream, Skullgirls Get Great, where we help you get better at Skullgirls. Yes, you are there to help. Yeah, that'd be, that's, that's great. Hi, welcome to uh, BB Tag Get Great. It doesn't affect my ability to play, though. <laughs> this game's still a combo breaker? Uh, yeah, probably. I'm pretty sure it is. If I, it, I'm going to go with high chance it is, but if not, the community is still going to play too many games because uh, we're cool like that. <laughs> I've never actually been to an offline tournament, so I don't know. I've only been to a local once. Twice. Once. Twice. Twice. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Hello, Sunners. My doggo has decided to visit me today. And why is that? I don't know, because usually he's a grumpy cunt and just, like, sits you in the can't game. say that! Can I not? BB Tag get great, I'd watch. I'd... BB Tag's having fun. BB Tag's alright. It's really fun. It sucks. It's really it's bad. Right. It's, it's fun as heck. Terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's not fun. I should stream it yep. more. It's heckin' fun. And nobody plays Blake either, for some reason. Because they don't want to, like, end their friendships? People say it's just too hard. I think the dead zones freak people out. Yeah. Which is understandable. But I get to play all my favorite couples. So it's okay. The B-Tag is a scam. Could have been worse. They could have made Yang paid. Which That's they were really going dumb. to. Yeah. Which they were going to. And Bleak, if I remember. <laughs> I don't remember that. But probably. I am back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Frank. I heard some talk about Combo Breaker. Brave Thanatos, yes. This game is going to be a Combo Breaker for a long, long time. And I, I don't know. I, I don't see them ever removing Skullgirls. Like, as long as there are, like, six people sign up, and I think that's gonna be true for, like, the next 20 years. This game has some of the most, like, loyal fan bases ever. Like, everyone just plays Skullgirls. Not everyone's actively practicing it, and we're here to fix that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skullgirls Get Grey. What we do is here is we try to match up against a relatively even opponent, and then provide constructive criticism on your play. We won't tell you everything that's wrong with your gameplay, but we'll tell you everything you need to know that you uh, so you can focus on the most important stuff first. Because learning happens in steps. Um, this way, you'll be you'll have something you can focus on practicing every week, and you know, just hopefully over time you improve. And that weekly practice is really important. Playing like more than once a week is extra important. If you play only once a week, that could be pretty bad, but that's okay. 
Alright, I was saying I'm finna get an SG revival. Um It does need a bit of a revival. Um and what I mean by that is not that the community isn't playing it or anything like that. It's just that our community seems to be diluted. And that's all a whole nother story. And hopefully I can go into more detail about that some other time. But right now, I'm obligated not. Um What else is there? Good to see that a lot of people showed up. Guys, peasant. Hey there, dumb chips. How you doing? We good to get started? Yeah. Alright. I have my wonderful co-hosts with me, yes. Penny and Sam. You've heard plenty of them uh, Unfortunately. in general. <laughs> Unfortunate. Hey there, Ryan. Good to see you here. Alright. Our first matchup is going to be a TCM lecture against uh, one of our brand new opponents or players in this community. What? Where is there? Where's the thing? Where's my thing? I'm upset. The thing. Okay. Uh, it's Big Brunch Breakfast versus me. While I try to teach them a few of the fundamental things, they're going to need to be able to practice to play this game. Now, is Big Brunch here? Are they in Twitch chat? Also, this is indeed Steam Skullgirls. Yeah, it has to be Steam Skullgirls. Um... You're in Twitch chat? Are they there in Discord? Actually, I should have... Let me check their Steam thing, see if they're online even. Last online seven days ago. Huh. Oh, well. <laughs> check their check the profile, because they might be hidden out, like offline or something like that. What do you mean? Like, this is currently may... offline, last online seven days ago. Yeah, but they might be like hiding, is what I'm getting. Like They might have set it to invisible. And then it would just not show me in the first place, I think. Oh, you mean like, oh, they might be invisible. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the heck would I How would I do that? Just just click them and look at their profile. And if it says, I am like, looking at the profile. This okay. is where it tells me currently offline last online seven days ago. It does it not say what their last game played was? Last game played was Dragon Ball Fighters on August When? 3rd. On August 3rd, which was seven days. Okay, so they haven't done anything. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Well, rest in peace, my fighting game friend. I guess we're going to skip that one. We're going to jump straight into the intermediate bracket. If Big Brunch shows up later, then I mean, we can go ahead and include them. Hold on, let me see if Big, at Big, no, Big. No, okay, they're not in the Discord either, so I can't add them. Oh, well. We're going to go ahead and jump into the next one. Uh, next matchup is going to be Jar of Dirt versus Dry Eyes. Let's go. Get them into this lobby. If you are participating today, please join the Steam group chat. You can find the Steam group chat by typing... Uh, give me a second. Having exclamation mark BG8 chat into Twitch chat, you'll get a link to join our group chat. Now, all logistical conversation should be happening here. Um, you can get in touch with me by any means, like Discord or Twitch or whatever else you want. But unfortunately, there is a reasonable chance that I will not be able to see it. So if you post it into the group chat, I can guarantee you I will see any communication to me because that's going to be the first thing I check. Um, if you don't know how to join lobbies, click the steam lobby link or if you it is not clickable if you're getting it from somewhere else put it into your browser url bar and they'll automatically launch steam and then steam will automatically launch skullgirls and skullgirls will automatically put you into this lobby did i miss anything i think that's it rise is ready to go i just don't doubt i started thinking about three houses again sorry <laughs> i apologize for your loss <laughs> i have a problem Fuzzy Banana was here a little while ago. That's Jar of Dirt, if I remember correctly. Hey, Penny. That's me. Have you ever played Free Houses? Unfortunately, I have. Unfortunate. <laughs> Fucking good. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. I do know that Jar of Dirt was here not too long ago. What is it? What? I think there's there. is Jar of Dirt is Jar of Dirt new as well? I don't I remember seeing. Believe so. New to Steam, possibly. Seeing, I don't remember seeing Big Bunch Breakfast either. Yeah, they're both new players. It must have been all that Evo advertisement. You're having trouble connecting. That's unfortunate. All right. Um. So what happens when you put the 
URL into your URL bar? Does it just not launch Skull Girls, or what's happening? Um, alternatively, what we can do is I can add you on Steam and invite you, because Steam is doing everything they can to get rid of community events. So, yeah, I see you here. I'm going to go ahead and add you as a friend. Accept my invite, and I'll see what I can do. Black. Uh, they just left the Steam up. And oh, they're beyond to I don't. Know. You left the lobby? Huh? Where am I? Uh, I'm so not alive. <laughs> it happens. Use the ball of energy. I am back. I need spirit bomb arms. What? <laughs> What did I come back to? <laughs> exactly. Right, what what else would cause people to have trouble Fair connecting enough. to lobbies? I'm trying to understand. Um, what do you mean by having trouble connecting? Like, give me more details. It just does it just say unable to connect? Never joined a lobby before. On Steam. Okay. So, accept my friend invite. I'm going to shoot you an invite. And that might be... That might fix the issue. Hopefully. It does. Is Jar Dirt the uh, PS player? The PlayStation player? Yeah, yes. So. Ah, that would explain it. Because we're just sitting there going, like, um, like if they've never, like, joined for, like, Steam and stuff, like... Oh, it happens. Have they, um, we've yeah. had multiple people on Steam that have, like, played tons of single-player games that have never... I suppose, either. yeah. But in this case, There's yeah, it's the PS badge. But I can't shoot them an invite until they're on my buddy list. Unfortunately. <laughs> and I don't think they're accepting... Oh, they did. All right, cool. So I sent you an invite. If when you're inside Skullgirls, uh, hold shift and press tab. It should let you join the lobby. Did they join? I think it sounded. I heard a joining sound. Yep, they joined. Here. All right, cool. We're good to go. So, so now press um, light kick, uh, the light kick button, whatever you have that map to, and the set ready button, and then you'll be ready to fight. Cool. Let's go. We are in there. On a side note, I have pink fluffy unicorn stuck in my head. Just fine, sure. I'm glad I have this information. I type exclamation point BGA chat. Oops. Yeah, it's supposed to be GGA chat. Thank you, DDDW. Messed that up. We got a band mid. Wow, cool. band mid. Interesting. There. Yeah. Never even. Yeah. I never even looked for that. That's crazy. Oh. And the Liza anchor is also a little bit interesting. Okay. Cool. I can't Pokes. Say about that one. Taking a merry go rilla. Hey, we got BMDs. Let's go. Oh, oh drops the crutch medium punch link. Goes to the easy OTG. Jump that BNB. Yeah, that's not gonna kill. If yeah, he finished, finished with SSJ, he would have killed just because of the solo damage. No, dry is you probably should have used SSJ there, even though normally you don't want to do that after A train. But you're, you're solo, that means you do 1.45 times the damage that a normal person would. And also, they had like no health up. And you might have even wanted to just try for the optimal instead, if you have been practicing it, because it might have just killed straight up without meter. That adds a good chunk of damage. That's what she uh, We're seeing a reasonable amount of lag. It's, it's kind of bad. Also, oh. just a reminder, Crank, you also like, wrote a note there saying like, Jar Dirt wants Peacock knowledge at some point. Well, it's Peacock matchup knowledge, yeah. So I'll, I'll provide links about that. Thank you for reminding me, Sam. I'll yep. get to that uh, after I talk about this stuff. Because Dry Eyes is playing the Big Bound, and I'll just like, remind. Yeah. 
right, excuse me, the A-Train. So... Hmm. I think a lot of strings on mix-up options, but they're very... Hard read rock, paper, scissors mix up options. You mean like the giant step stuff? Giant step, light A train. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So, like, whenever you end your pressure on like a mix up option, you're generally going to be unsafe on Whiffer Block. So, because you're going for these reads at the very end, you're giving your opponent a really, really huge turn advantage. And Skull Girls, the thing is, like, when you're trying to pressure and break your opponent, uh, break through your opponent's defense, um, you almost always want to be plus, and Skullgirls is a game where you can almost always be plus. This Can't means like not using <laughs> uh, specials at the end of your strings usually, unless you're Parasol, because Parasol's fair. Hi. Um, yeah, and especially when you're solo, having your opponent get their turn could just mean you lose straight up. Mm -hmm. Because you only have one character, there's not an option to reset out of their mix with an incoming. Yeah. The Jar Dirt, um, you need to tighten up your links, but you're like well on your way there. You need to clean up your BNB a little bit. Normally, we say like if you need to practice your BNB, sign up for their um, beginner bracket, so we don't like waste your time focusing on things like frame data and stuff like that. But that's up to you. Ultimately, like I can't, I'm not your mom. I can't tell you what to do. Um, you got nice pressure. I like that you frame trap into the command grabs. It's cool stuff. You might also be missing these links because of the lag, because it looks like the lag is really bad for some reason. Yeah. I've also I've also been noticing that Dark Dark's been doing a lot of um what's the word? Uh, I can't remember the word right now. <laughs> I believe he's delaying his moves, so he is like Stagger being, pressure. Like, stagger pressure, thank you. Yeah. He's purposely delaying his moves so he can go into like a late command grab and stuff like that. Which is good. These are like good signs. Like, yeah, it's good, yeah. Grabbed. It's off the grab. This should be dead. Yeah. So we'll talk about Peacock yeah. matchup stuff in the last two games. Um, for now, I just want to talk about a couple other things you're doing. Um, in terms of team order, I don't know if you're open to changing this. A lot of people have a very specific team and team order that they want to play, and they just stick to it. Uh, you normally want to band either point or anchor, because band is extremely powerful. Having him on point and giving him assist means it's really easy to get a touch and then just kind of go off with him. Um, or you want him anchor because he holds his own extremely well. He's not dependent on um, assists to get things, and also his assists are the strongest assists in the game. So they're extremely powerful. They do a ton of damage, really good for counter calling, really good for really, really dirty, tricky setups, and things like that. Um, so it's, not a, uh, yeah, go ahead. it's not a team you see often, but his team would be really, really good with ban point. And then Eliza mid, Bella anchor. Yeah. You have the plus level 3 to DHC into whenever you want. You got banned with stupid good luck down assist, which is terrifying because it makes HPRAS plus. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Yeah. In Skullgirls, your general mission is to like win neutral, and until you win neutral, be safe. Once you win neutral, never ever give your opponent another chance in neutral ever again. Yeah, like, so, so what? Especially, like, I don't. Again, I don't know how familiar you are with this game because your first time on stream, but. Like, understanding that you can make yourself plus with a lockdown assist after Brass is... That's huge. Like, not many teams can do that, and it's, like, extremely powerful. Brass is your main, like, full-screen attack that you can't use because of how unsafe it is. If you can make it safe, that's dumb. Like, it, it's extremely yeah. good. The, uh, yeah. I have one of those opinions of the way to win consistently in Skullgirls isn't to be good at the game, it's to not let your opponent play at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like that's team fighters in general. Like, if you give yeah. your opponent a turn, you screwed up. That's also just Penny in general. She does that for it's everything. I do in a lot of things, but I don't like to let people play. That's that. no fun here. Ooh. The call out. I am enjoying the stagger pressure. <laughs> I am two to a point. It's not... Dry Eyes isn't push blocking and getting killed for it. Mm. So at some point you need to turn this into a mix up so that you can catch him. Yeah. Um, if you go for the stagger lows all the time, it's really easy to block and really easy to get out of. So mixing it up with like a uh, like a jump me and pick overhead or even like a grab is really strong. Mm -hmm. They seem to only be really comfor comfortable um, stagger pressuring into grabs uh, mm. with Bella specifically. Like I don't think I've seen him do it with any other character. Oh, are we talking about the right band? I don't know which band we were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dark Dark's band. Good pitch up, pick up with the alley train. You did convert in the corner, which is cool. 
Drop it. Only convert in the corner. Nice parry. That was smart. Good awareness. Yeah. Over committing to block strings on your opponent is really, really bad. Again, I know this isn't more of a beginner tip, so you probably already know this. Um, but you almost never want your block strings to go past the medium. You can, well, again, you can stagger pressure and confuse people by going into a special after you're heavy, but nine times out of ten, you're gonna be unsafe. On top of that, if your opponent is going for a PBGC or if they've already been absolute guarding, then you're going to get punished no matter how tricky or how much you stagger, or how tricky your setup is or how much you stagger. So, like, it's it's one of those things where it's like, it'll, it's only gonna get you so far. Uh... <laughs> nice save. Pack. Unfortunate. Yeah. Um, in terms of Peacock knowledge stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put chat on for the next couple of games because I'm going to be providing at least one link, maybe more. Uh, maybe just one link. Uh, give me one moment. It's also up to five matches. Yeah, it's five so flat it's games. The... Yeah. Uh, make sure you guys are playing all five games. <laughs> so, here is a link on the... Peacock dead zone. Um, Ryan, there was a beginner bracket, but the one person who signed up didn't show up, so we just skipped it. Oh, by the way, is um like the jar dart in the chat and everything? Uh, if yeah, jar dart is in the chat. Okay, just making sure because like, if he didn't know, then like he wouldn't be able to like know that like the Twitch stream has vods and stuff up. Just to make sure. That's a good point. So just a reminder for anyone who is like whoever's new here has not seen the stream before. Uh, the VODs go up right after the stream, so as soon as the stream's done, you can check out the VOD on YouTube. And if you haven't seen, or if you don't want to wait till that long, then right after your match, you can see it on Twitch. Twitch has, like, live VOD replay, which is really, really cool. Most streaming services do these days. Oh yeah, so Peacock no uh, matchup knowledge. Uh, so basically how this works is... You don't actually have to worry right now about Peacock versus specific characters, so you don't really need character by character matchup knowledge. Um, just be aware of all your movement options. So for example, you can block dash in this game. That means if you start dashing forward, you can hold back while your dash animation is going on, and you're actually blocking while you're moving forward. If you down back, it'll cancel, because you'll crouch cancel your dash, so that kind of sucks. But like, you can use that to, like, what's it called? There are, if you press both punch buttons at the same, or two punch buttons at the same time, you'll do a forward dash. So what you can do is you can tap the both press, uh, buttons, and as your animation starts, then start holding back, and then for your enti the entirety of your dash animation, you'll be blocking. It is super useful. That's great. It's fantastic and, like, a really great movement option. Another thing is, like, there's a couple, like, uh, the Dead Zone video will hopefully go into a lot more detail about this, but there are huge gaps in Peacock's um, projectile pressure. Other things... Uh, include like if you, well, you if your character has a double jump what you can do is whenever air show george pops out you can neutral jump then wait for the item drop because normally peacock will item drop to try and stop you from jumping over air show george and then you block the item drop and then as soon as peacock calls another air show george item drop is still on cooldown so what you can do is you can neutral hop and then use your second jump to get over the air show george and you can build about half a screen of space you have a you are playing band band is really really annoying for peacock so what you can do is exactly what i just said um, neutral jump and then jump over Airshow George after item is still on cooldown, then use Embrass. So even if they throw out uh, another item or if there's a George on the ground, you'll armor through that and you're already half a screen distance away from Peacock. So unless Peacock is trying to build space against you, Embrass will be more than enough to actually punish your opponent. If Peacock is trying to build space against you, then use Heavy Brass, because then Heavy Brass will armor through all the things and also go further and your, Peac your opponent uh, is bound to get hit and not block Heavy Brass so they won't be able to punish it because they were, you know, trying to build space. They were moving. So that's kind of a 50-50 that you give them, even though you're the one on the defensive. It's kind of really nice. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do. Um, pairing is not a really great option against Peacock, except against Argus Agony. Um, that one super is like the only real thing you can parry. What, you come, what really, really good players will do is they'll push block, guard cancel their... Um, what's it called? the beam part of the super, and then when the pellets start coming out, they'll parry and then fly all the way towards them. Because parry slides you forward a lot. It's really useful. Um, hey friends, I'm going to be the worst, but I got to duck out. Alright, that's fine. Well, I will still see you tonight, right? Yeah, I'll be back on later. Alright, cool. Are we doing the characters tonight? Character and hopefully a few hours of the campaign. Depends how fast people Wait, are. Wait, you're actually doing the campaign today? What? Yeah. I mean, you guys have made characters before, so I'm assuming it's going to go a lot faster than usual. Hey, say that. We'll see. <laughs> I believe in us. Goodbye, friends. Uh, goodbye. Good luck, Penny, with friends. <laughs>
Not D and D. I I don't like D and D's system, so we played D and D for a little bit. But I actually homebrewed my own system. It's called BNBD. Big number, big damage. What it stands for. Great. Most people enjoy it. I don't actually. I don't think I've played with a single person that hasn't enjoyed it yet. So that's that's been pretty cool. Yeah. So well played by both these players. Um, having character specific um, matchup knowledge is really cool. By the way, um, other things is Cerebella as a reflector and Eliza's uh, crouching hard kick or sweep. Her it, it armors through all projectiles. So your characters have like anti projectile tools. So if you're struggling against Peacock, make sure you're utilizing all those different tools you have. We can go into a little bit more detail about it, but I just want to be sure you actually understood the things I said. Uh, I've said a lot of things like absolute guard, push block, guard cancel, and all these other techniques, um, neutral hops, and things like that. I want to make sure you're familiar with these things and are actually using them because I, again, I have no idea how familiar you are with this game at this point. Also, oh, just, uh, just a heads up, uh, Ryan, there, wa there was technically a beginner bracket, but the person missed, so that was just completely skipped. Uh, the one matchup that we had for beginner just was not available. I think I told him, but yeah. Oh, I didn't hear you because there was noise in the background, as you can probably hear sometimes. Uncle friend? No, my nanny's watching TV. It is around the time that she be still watching TV. I, right. I'm there, but the execution isn't yet for me. I, oh, you are. So you are understanding the mechanics and stuff I talk about. All right, cool. So the execution isn't there for you. Um, lab is the easiest thing I can tell you. Like, there's not much you can do to practice execution other than the labbing. Uh, that's not true. You can just fight people in general. But the idea is that in the lab, if you can do your combo ten times in a row, then you're pretty good. Also, um, just is Elbrass uh, just armored? No, um, sorry, Sam. Give me one second. Um, okay. Elbrass has zero hits of armor, but it's super fast and it's minus five, which means you can. Uh, your opponent cannot jab you. Usually, there are like you can trade with a jab. No, no, no actually, yeah, you straight up. Your opponent can't jab you. You're minus five because the the fastest jab is five frames. The Fortune and Philia might be able to do something, but the jabs are really, really short. So if you're Elbrassing in their face, then you might be doomed. Um, but what you can do is if you Elbrass, they're minus five, you can then go into beat extend, which is a DP, so it's invulnerable all startup. Um, and because of the, that you're invulnerable since startup, even if they start to jab punish you, they'll be caught by beat extend, and therefore you'll be able to keep the pressure going. So it's really useful. Elbrass is an amazing tool. Um, Embrass is okay against most characters because it'll not move you too close to them, but it's still technically unsafe. Your opponents can punish it if they have a long normal like Parasol. Heavy Brass is always punishable. Heavy Brass is a pain in the butt. It does a fuck ton of damage, though, so it's really cool. That's about it. Um, Sam, what were you saying? I was just saying, like, a small tip for, like, when you're training in, the, in, like, the lab and everything is just, like, if you can do your combo consistent, make sure you can also do it consistent the other direction. Oh, yeah. There's been, yeah, I always say this, because, like, there's been so many times where, like, I've, like, because I don't lab, but, like, whenever I've just played and actually learned a combo, I try doing it the other direction. Like, I usually practice from left to right. But when you're trying to do it from right to left, quarter circles are a pain in the ass because it's just not natural to you. You so, come from like, an NRS background. Oh, that's awesome. All right, that's that's good to hear. Oh, so, NRS? Oh, okay. NRS, like, where did you come from? Like, MK? Because that's, that's the game I mostly play. <laughs> yeah. And Penny would love to talk about MK. Penny just... Oh, yeah, MK Penny nonstop. So Penny loves NRS games. Yeah. So at Penny, if you ever want games in any NRS game, Penny plays all of them. So in, if you join our Discord, you know the, the Discord went public a while ago. You can chill there if you want, and you can it's at Penny or it's... at um, me, the Crank Machine, um, or at like any of the other ones that are listed under co-host. We all have pretty good experience in Skullgirls, so if you have any questions about mechanics or like tips or VOD review requests or anything like that, just add us. And we'll help you out. They're playing MK9, yeah. didn't really take seriously into MKX. That's copy-paste Penny's story, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, Except it's Penny also was really like, good in MK9, I think. It's also kind of like, I started in Skullgirls when like I started seeing like the actual fighting game stuff, but MKX was the game I actually like super enjoyed like playing a lot more. Alright, next up, we're gonna go ahead and get Gloomy Rind versus... Oh wait, it's Hydra, I wasn't able to make it. Um, I know Dry Eyes wanted to play again, but let's see if someone else in the audience wants I to play. I can fight them. Uh... Yeah, okay, sure, let's do it. Gloomy Rind versus oh. Sam, let's go ahead. Let's do it. I haven't played in a while, so it would be... Eh. Hopefully the connection's not horrible. 
I think you'll be fine. Probably. I'll probably be muted as well. So also I'm just not interrupting and shit. Sounds good to me. Drys, I know I know you wanted to play. Um the only reason I'm letting Sam play is because you already were registered. So I usually give somebody else a chance before I let somebody that's already signed up play a second set. And you do a beginner bracket since it got skipped. Yeah, sure. At the end of the stream, if you're still around, we'll go ahead and shove you in. There's a gloomy Rin here. Ba bam bam bam. Also, I was, um, while you're, like, searching the person, I had my, like, um, my, like, really young baby cousin, uh, down today. Mm -hmm. And my nanny was in the middle of knitting. Um, he found one of, like, the little, like, needles to knit with. Mm. And he started, like, stabbing the pillow that, like, my nanny was knitting because he thought that's what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wanting to knit with her. <laughs> so he just was stabbing it with a little pin. <laughs> Kids will do the do. I love kids. I, kids are great. All right, so Rin looks like sh they went on offline five minutes ago. No, sorry, I'm last online twelve hours and five minutes ago. My bad. Um, Unfortunate. Hmm. By the way, did you just recently make the Discord public? That was like three years ago. Okay, I was just wondering because you mentioned it there. I was like, hold on, hasn't this always been like, public? No, because like Scott, the first year or so of Get Great, the Discord was not public. So. Yeah, you remember that? Like it was the good old days. Yeah, but I don't rem like I don't know like why you just suddenly just said uh, it's public and I was like, wait, has had no, always been public for quite a while. <laughs> I don't think I can find Rin, so I guess everyone from this matchup is just gone. Unless, Perfect. did they say anything in Twitch chat? Uh, I haven't seen anything from Gloomy or Rin. Okay, so Gloomy Rin is not going to be here, it's... I guess, because they're not saying anything. Fuzzy Banana's Jar, isn't it? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess that's a matchup skip, then. But I'll be ready if they you appear. Be ready. I'll be ready. <laughs> All right. Um. So Kretra versus Kubi. 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 Whatever. Guys would join this lobby. You guys are up next. Hey there, Kretra, you're here. Good stuff. Go ahead and enter the lobby. Um, this is the Steam Lobby link. Use that. Kubi should be here. I thought I saw them earlier. I'm not sure. Don't see him in Twitch chat. They are currently offline in Discord. Man, this is a whole lot of spaghetti. Again, I'm available. <laughs> I might have you play if I can't find QB. We'll give it another minute. I've isn't QB like a regular? Yeah, I've remember seeing the name before. Okay, yeah, QB's a super regular. Yeah. They are currently online on Steam, though. All right, let me see if I can. Mm. Five word horror story lost in line several days ago. <laughs> well, I'm spooked. <laughs> There's always time for a song. I 
Hey, you crank. You seem tired. I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Alright, Sam, go ahead and queue up against Petra. We'll oh! the show on the road. My time has arrived! <laughs> to show that some co one of the co-hosts doesn't actually know anything about Skullgirls! <laughs> you say that, but you were doing fine giving advice, like, five minutes ago. Yeah, but that's just... That's just you in denial. That's, that's, oh wait, never uh, mind, QB is here. QB is here. I've already started! Alter 4, Sam! I can't! You literally can't. I mean, I could. I could. I will. Nice. <laughs> well done. I did. <laughs> but now you've got away from me, you heck. Hurry, Sam. Why did you invite? Invite and just slows it down. Sam said as he lagged out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's because you invited me, it slows it down. <laughs> I believe you. Alright. For all to four. Exactly. Alright, now, now you get... players are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and ready up. We should be good to go. <sighs> This is this that was is, an awkward fifteen minutes. This is going well. Yeah. Oh my god. Then we've got training wheels and nice of Valkyrie. Alright. Alright, so we got Kiwi's team. Philia Fuqua, I think. Yeah, Philia Fuqua. There's a solo Eliza. Let's go. Both these people are pretty regular. Good fast follow to the other side, went for a double overhead. So generally when you're going to go for an early reset, you still want to build some on Dizzy. Early resets are generally tricky because there's not much benefit to doing them, right? So that's why you get a lot of these hits. But you're not actually getting that much benefit from it if you're not even draining on Dizzy. So like, if we're going for like one or two hits and then quickly going for another reset, they never build on Dizzy in the first place because it takes like a full string before Dizzy happens at all. Unscaling is only one of the benefits of fits of a reset, so you still gotta be careful about that. Playing neutral is not great in Skullgirls. So, so Kibi seems to have some semblance of a BMB, but they seem to have like massive like trouble getting out of like the corner, so they do. I mean the Liza pressure's been pretty solid, so I mean let's wait till we get a hit confirmed for one to Alright, so you ended up block string on a heavy, not good. Uh Kretra, you don't normally uh want to push block on the heavy. Because if you push block on the heavy, that means you're panicking. Um, normally after you block, and you do, I guess you didn't want your opponent to cancel into like a fireball really delayed or something like that. But in general, you should just block it and then press buttons to punish. Because, uh, QB should have never gone into a heavy button during a block string. They could frame trap with a fireball, so I, or an armored grab, so I understand your concern, but I can, I can see why you push blocked. Not always the greatest thing to do. Yeah, like, it's one thing knowing how to push block, but it's never knowing when to push block. Yeah. But, I mean, let's see the adapting. So it's like, it was only the first game. So maybe they expected yeah. their opponent to, like, do a delayed shadow or something like that. Um, and that's why they push blocked. But perhaps they got some information. So next time when QB goes into a heavy, Petra will punish. We'll see. Mint Glands, uh, if you would really like to find out, the Skull official Skullgirls website has all that information for you. Win. Nice chicken block land cancel. So that's exactly how you get around bird insurance. You want to up back uh, and block it because it'll stop your upward velocity and immediately make you start going down. The closer you do it when uh, to the ground, uh, the more frame advantage you'll have over your opponent. It's called chicken block land cancel. And if you want more information about that, let me know and I can give you a video on that. So Kretcha, that's valuable information for you too. So be aware that that's why you don't throw up burn insurance. Alright, got the raw tag. I got curious. Mm -hmm. 
You're right, it is on the, on the website. What the heck? <laughs> hey! I'm surprised you didn't know that, Sam. Anyway, uh, um, sticking to this. Okay, so you snapped him out, got rid of that red health. Kind of smart decision making. And you also get healed your red health back. So Crunch is pretty used to playing solo. That's pretty good news. Uh, one for the H drill. Careful which button you're pressing. Like cancel the fireball, then frame traps into the super, and get a clean conversion. Let's see it go. Okay. So I'm starting to agree with Sam. Um, you seem to be trouble executing your BNB once you're actually got a hit confirm. Um, yeah, like I mean, I guess I'll like... just stick the like basic news. Like this is that's more of like a, a beginner thing usually, but like remember, make sure you can do your combo. Ten times in a row against your opponent in the lab, like um, no, like they like they seem to like know what like what they're meant to be doing, but they just can't seem to like get it out. It also could be lag, like like I, I don't want to. Yeah, there's also lag. Yeah, but at the same time, this is this is constructive as what we see it, so you know, yeah, we can't we can't have to say it regardless. There's a bus chart set? What the heck? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> oh, hey there, Servon. Good to see you here. Servon sounds very familiar. Yeah, they're super regular. Um, And they're, they've are they been playing in the EU scene for quite a bit. I saw your message earlier today. I didn't get a chance to respond. I was still in bed. I will get back to you on that. I think you sent me a video, another montage video, which I'm super excited to watch. You cried all day, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Bang, prank. I use a hairball to get just, around yeah. there, trying to use standing heavy punch as an anti-air, that's okay. Yeah. Make sure you can do your BNB 10 times in a row against the opponent in the lab. Um, make sure you can do it both sides. Best way to practice hit confirming. Um, also, Skullgus is all about set play. While this is not, you're not probably at the level to be worrying about set play like either of these players. Um, that means being able to execute not just your combo, but a series of resets in a row, like back to back as well. So, like, you should know that, okay, okay, if I, after my third string, do this low reset and then go into a full combo on a hit confirm, then I can kill my opponent in just two resets or something like that. And you should be able to do the, execute the whole thing in a row. So, it no longer becomes just practicing a BNB. It becomes practicing an entire string of exchanges so that you can kill someone on a single touch. Okay, good hit confirm. I'm gonna drill early just to finish. I respect that. Good stuff. Barely had the meter for it too. We'll be right back after these messages. Gibby right. does seem to like enjoying using the meter a lot. That's Fuqua in general. Like Fuqua needs meter to convert off of most things. It's kind of frustrating. Mm, fair enough. I don't play Fuqua, so I, I don't notice. <laughs> yeah, but you'll notice like like eleven. Out of 12 hits, they'll just need to use BFF to convert, like, all the time. Yeah. How many games do you play? You play five, five flat games. What was the old name of Fluter? Fluter's always Fluter. Fluter was Fluter Sam. He's always been Fluter Sam. I've always been Fluter. There was a yeah. period of time where his account was banned on Twitch, and he went by B-Blow, or whatever the heck it was. B-Blow, yeah. I used to, like, but, like, I got this account back, so now it's back to Fluter Sam. Yeah, that was, yeah. like... Very recently and only for like a month anyway. Yeah, it was only like for like a couple of weeks. So it was. You know the voice, the but not the name. Interesting. I'm the Northern Irish dude, if that helps. Yeah. Now they've been here like forever. I'm usually here, so I am usually like Penny is also here when I'm here, but then he had to go in the middle of this one. Okay, with the Spiral, that's unfortunate. I mean, that was a weird hit. I'm not gonna blame him for that one. Can we ban Servan? He's racist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a BNB. Drill into level 3. 
Probably not worth spending all three meter there. I wouldn't have said that was worth it. Um, I would have just gone into drill super and then let it rock. Maybe set up a shadow for income or for like wake up pressure. I think you sell OTG, which means you had plenty of time for like wake up setup. But then. Well, as far as I know, only one Northern Irish person exists, Servon. Like, Sam. Sam's That's the only me. person I know that speaks that. Well, you know Chris, but you don't really talk to him. He's Northern Irish. Yes. He doesn't sound Northern Irish. He lives. He lives around here, so he does. Well, not around here, but like, just the next like town over. So I, mean, I, I just yeah. assumed North, Northern Ireland was as small as a town. It's 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 really small. It's got a few towns in it, you know. I, li I live in a big country. It's really big. No, it's it's like really small. Like what? Like your fucking like five hour drives we would consider like twenty minutes, like to cover like if uh, like if the distance was scaled up. Yeah. If you grew up in the city, I mean, though, I mean it's the same thing. Like when I grew up in the city, it was just kind of like, man, I have to drive more than fifteen minutes. That's practically an overnight trip. <laughs> Yeah, over here we do like we we if it takes twenty minutes to get somewhere, it's like yeah, that's not worth it. <laughs> right, a punch move. Remember, Kretcher, that if you're expecting your opponent to be reversing out of situation at all, but you could be doing. I mean, you don't even have to block it if you have a move that low profiles. I don't think Valentine does. You could have to use that. Um, you can outspace him with a projectile if you really want to, and then try to hit confirm with that, like into a bypass or something on a whiff. Um, but more importantly, you can just like jump over them, you, or you can do the backdash forward hop. That or what was it? Yeah, it's backdash forward, and then you jump forward, or whatever whatever the Valentine Ninja Flippy thing is. Um, you can do that, and you'll like be right above the punch move hitbox, and you'll be able to punish. You get a heavy counter hit punish right there. It is a useful thing against people who are reversing. I've never seen like Peacock's like, level 3 actually whiff, so I didn't know she went in the bag for longer. Did she go in the... wait, she does? I don't even know that. Yeah, cause she cause she got stuck. She was stuck there and it didn't like do like the animation of her like quickly cartooning like getting out of the bag. Yeah, cause the she DC just kind of like sat in the bag for a short while. Hmm. I've never seen that because usually you don't see like that whiff because you can't do it unless you've already grabbed them. What the level three? Yeah, you can't do you can't do peacocks level three unless you've already grabbed them. Yeah, but on but you can on DHC and that's how that happened, right? Yeah, I mean you can on DHC and that's how you do with it, but like I've never actually seen anybody like whiff it before so it's like yeah. oh okay valentine <laughs> needs to mean? learn more about her normal buttons um i don't think uh Kretcher I normally plays valentine. i think i mostly only see them play solo eliza Kretcher, do you play a full team i don't actually know if you do because you seem really comfortable playing a solo what are you doing crank <laughs> You play with a fidget spinner or something? Oh, it's a fidget ring, but same difference. Ah, okay. I forgot it's I even had like, this on. My bad. I'll put this away. I could hear it like spinning, and I was just wondering what the heck it was. It's not like super annoying, but it's just you know stream reasons. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> All right. Um, how's it going? Hey there, fish. You play oh, Val Double Eliza. Oh, okay. That's a pretty solid team. Eliza Anchor. That's the second time we've seen I've seen Eliza Anchor. Like I'm, I don't really know. Why people play her anchor? You play a lot of solo Eliza. Okay. Switch double to squiggly and you got my team. Yeah. So, Ron, when are you going to start playing again? I mean, I guess you don't. I, th I mean, you pretty much graduated from get grade, so I guess you really don't need to. But what we do need is training wheels on ice versus Valkyrie. Up in here. Tonight, play me first attack. Yet, <laughs> if I didn't already have plans, I totally would. Um, but maybe I can. I don't know. If anyone's running late, then I will. I'll do a first ten with you. You'll probably destroy me like, though, because I have not. I've been playing Tekken and only Tekken lately. That's not true. What? You've also been playing uh, Hollow Knight. I forgot Hollow Knight was a game. You I haven't played that game in like a I... month. I totally yeah. forgot it even existed. I've been seeing you play it quite a bit. You can check, Sam. Like you, my Steam profile is right yeah, there for you. I haven't played yeah, it in I like don't a know. month. Like, I just remember, like, it's like the game I kept seeing you play, like, for a while, so it, like, just got stuck in my in my head. Oh, that's a crank game. You haven't last... played except today, Skull Oh, yeah, actually. you've also been playing Yakuza. Oh, I finished Yakuza 0, yeah. Uh, is that any good? Because I wanted to try it. It's 
because I have a humble good. monthly. I enjoyed it a lot, and I was really impressed by the game. Um, it's not one of those games that's just like this is revolutionary or like this is gonna change my understanding of the world or some shit. Like it's it's just a it's just a really good game, and they put a lot of love into it, and it's really funny, and I like it. I've I've seen it. It looks like top tier meme quality. <laughs> but it's like, not as meme sense. as it looks. That's the that was the reason I played it. I thought this was like top tier meme quality, but it wasn't actually. It wasn't as meme as I thought it would be. There are a lot just... of funny moments, and it's really cheeky a lot of the time because it treats everyone super stupidly. That's great, um, but like, it's not overbearing by any means. It's backtracking mm -hmm. bad. Uh, in terms of game design, it depends on the context. So it can be bad if it's not done well. There are very few games that do backtracking well. And even Metroidvanias that like say, oh yeah, it's Metroidvania, obviously there's backtracking. It's like, mm, that doesn't have to be. And on top of that, it doesn't have to be the same kind of backtracking. Uh, and I can talk more about game design at a later time. Right now, I'm just still going to focus on trying to get our next two players in here, which are, of course, not bad. Training Wheels on Ice versus Valkyrie. Training Wheels on Ice was here not too long ago. Yeah. And, and so was Valkyrie. Hold on a second. Whatever game you need to, like, try at some point, Crank, whenever you've got time is hot in time. Oh yeah, I do need to. I, I started that game. I went into the first world and I'm like... This looks kind of bland and didn't play it, but I know it's supposed to be really good. It's really good, and I will, I will give not you right that. Like, okay, not, not as in like not like. Let's talk about video other games later. I know, but you have to wait in the other day. That's why I was going on. Uh, I'm still. Oh, that's because I'm still trying to. Okay. Because Training Wheels messaged me and they said that they have to drop because something came up. But Training Wheels never registered. Training Wheels on Ice did. Now I'm confused. Are they the same person or not? <laughs> also, is Valkyrie even here? The only reason I say not right now is because I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Apparently offline, last seen two, well, three hours ago. So, could be here. Valk is good when he doesn't change his team every week. Damn, calling him out. Um, yeah, right, Sam, what were you going to say about... Thing? What's that? What were you going to say about Hat in Time? Oh, no, it's just... A, it's like, I'll, I'll give you that. Like, the first, like, impressions of it were, like, immediately... If they were iffy to me, too. But, like, after you clear, like, the first level, it's it's there. Like, I think it's just the first level was the bit that got me going, eh. <laughs> Oh, okay. But afterwards, it gets pretty good, I assume. Yeah, I, I, I think it gets pretty good after the first level. After the first road, it definitely opens up, but, like, after the first level, it's sort of, like, it, meh. Because, like, it just looks... It looks like there's no, um... What's the word? Rhyme or reason to why anything, like, in that world exists, and then you just, like, kind of, like, look at it, and you're like, actually, a lot of this makes sense. <laughs> why is this here? <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's really cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'll admire it. I played the um, the cinematic train level. That's what originally made me want to play the game. Oh, that's so good. It's one of my favorite levels. Gameplay moment. Is Deflect Assist viable against Peacock? Um... It doesn't come out quick enough, I don't think. It, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's actually, I wasn't even <laughs> thinking that. That's a really good point. I don't think it comes out fast enough. Even if it did, I feel like... So, let's just say you had deflect assist only against the peacock and you only used it um or even and it did somehow come out on time and you only use it in that matchup the reason it wouldn't be good is because you would have to design an entire set play around using deflector assist against peacock at the highest level like it'll it'll help you out in like mid-level play but like as you improve you having an entire set play around Deflector Assist is going to be weird because it only applies to, like, two characters at best. 
Maybe three. Really not worth it. It's one of those things where it's like, can it be good? Maybe, if, if it worked. Uh, and assuming it works, it's not worth it. Also, also I assume, because Deflector staggers, I assume that means it scales the combo anyway. Yeah. It's not great. Also, it gives up an assist. Like, if they're just running Peacock, yeah, maybe it's alright if it did work the way it do does. But, like, if you're going up against, like, a team of threes or twos, you've got, you're down an assist, basically, against those other characters. Mm-hmm. Which wouldn't help, like, what's the reflect gonna do against the band? <laughs> Building super specific setups is what JP would do. I don't think JP really ever made set play in general. Like, I've never really seen JP do true set play. I've seen him do it maybe once or twice. Usually just spaces out and doesn't do it. Um, it's more of a guilt thing. Guilt is the kind of guy who made super specific setups for, or uh, set plays for some reason. It's like reflect the, the beat extend. <laughs> if only, if only. All right, I'm going to assume neither Valkyrie nor their opponent are here. So, like, ten people signed up and, like, four people showed up. That's This was a strange. good beat. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the people who do oh, sign up what? and show up on time. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys cannot make it, please always just send me a message in advance. I don't care. I just need to know, preferably a day before. Or, But even if you find out, like, last minute, just shoot me a DM saying, like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it or whatever. That's fine. I can plan around that. Um, when you do a note, like sign up and don't show up, then it's kind of weird. Want to play on stream? Yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, uh, DK said Sam? Ryan wanted to play, remember? Ryan said they had to go. They just said something came up. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought they were just doing something else. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, so everyone, go ahead and pop in here. We'll do a first to 10 and then call it a day, I guess. A little weird. Whatever. Yeah, weird. Whatever. Oh. Right. I try my it's hardest. time for me Where to go I? off on Hat and Time. <laughs> Alright. Sam, go off on Hat and Time. I gotta go find something. Like Alright. Have you guys ever played Hat and Time? It's yeah. good. <laughs> Why not? That was me going off on that and All right, I'm back. What's happening? Nothing. Oh, okay. You went quiet. I was confused. It's because I can go off because nobody was talking, so I can go off because it was a case of just like, well, what do I talk about? <laughs> like, I I mentioned what I wanted to talk about. Nobody said anything. Guess guess I'm being silent. The crank comes back. I feel like everyone in chat probably has already played at the time. No, not everyone. I bet, I bet, I bet, uh, I bet, uh, let's just pick a random person, Sam. Try Trap, he hasn't played it. Cool. Try speedruns at the time. Wait, does? Shit. Oh, now you're talking. Now the crank's back. You're all talking. <laughs> it's really good. Nothing time is like. What was it? It's like it's like the. It's like what if Odyssey decided to be more like Mario Sunshine? Which is exactly why I don't like it. I love Sunshine. Though, the stages I do like in Hat and Time specifically is that there is, like, there's, like, side levels that you can do, which are very reminiscent of, um, the parts in Mario Sunshine where, like, uh, Mario goes into, like, a weird warp place and they take off his jetpack. 
Those those are good levels. Time rifts, I believe they're called. Cool. I remember when I tried to do a 120 star run in Mario 64 fish. And then I realized how much I really don't like Heezy Me's Cave. I think it's an awful level. I don't see any like redeeming qualities of that level. It's just annoying. It's 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 hard it's easy to get lost into if you don't know the layout all that well. Damn it's not a fun level. I'm sad I didn't pick you up for that. That sucks. I, um... Like, it was, like... I guess now it would be a long time ago, but it was, like, half a year ago. Like, I was, I, I started playing Mario Online with uh, one of my friends. And I had never done, like, an actual, like, backwards lawn jump. Like, up the stair... Like, the lawn staircase and everything. And I was so happy that I managed to do it. I, d I never looked up anything of how to actually do it. I just went for it, did it. It was great. <laughs> Did you get the full zip from it though? Because normally people can pull off the BLJ, but not many people can zip with it. What's the zip? Sorry. The one where you actually fly up like three floors. Like you can do the backward long jump and then get stuck in the stairs and stuff like that, but you won't usually be able to like fly around. No, no, I, I did it. I got like past the endless stairs and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, because like, I, I, like, I don't, I don't know, like what the exact thing is because i can't do it on like the normal staircases i tried doing it recently when i was trying like modded versions and stuff mm. but like i don't i don't get how to do it on the small ones um i was also recently i was also recently playing a um a mod for mario 64 where it was um mario 64 but an ocarina of time <laughs> And that's re it's really well done, actually, because it, it emulates uh, Ocarina of Time really well, where you have, like, side missions and everything to do to get stars, like, in Zelda style. Um, BLJ is actually an unlockable ability. <laughs> the, like, the creator removed it from the game, and you have to unlock it as, like, an ability so that you can get past an area. <laughs> sounds really cool, but I have no idea what you're talking about right now. So. It does sound cool, though, like, unlocking BLJ, though. No, it it's super cool. Like they um how they like do it is like Mario starts off in the Kiki Forest as usual, like in Zelda. Um and you don't really have much at the start. But as you collect stars you can talk to uh you can talk to the shopkeepers in the aisles and everything, and you can actually uh when you talk to the owl, after you get so many stars, they give you an ability, or you can find abilities out in the field. For example, where you get like the sun sun, you can find a um, a star badge that stops you from taking taking any fall damage. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be paying it. I know. I'm just I'm just talking out loud. So I am mostly for chat and stuff. Um, yeah. But um, no, uh, like there's that, and also like uh, what else is there? Trying to remember, there was a specific one. Yeah, when you get like 40 stars, you can talk to the Scatola houses and like you can like tuck up, you can like crouch and then just spin fucking really fast, like sonic speed. <laughs> but it costs a magic meter, which is actually a function in the game, and I don't know how he fucking does it. Gaze is a, a master of hacking Mario 64. <laughs> One of my favorite stars to get in that Ocarina of Time mod was um, there's a f like a swamp of flying on his face, and he's like, it's like, oh my aching back. If anybody, if only someone could massage it, 
So your first thought is like, oh, I'll grind pound them, but you kill them by grind pounding them, so that doesn't give you a star. No, instead what you have to do is you have to crouch and crawl over him, because it makes it look like Mario is like rubbing his back and that unlocks star. <laughs> That looks really weird. What is happening? <laughs> Haven't seen that one before. That I've seen that I've seen that once, like something similar with like Penny and you when you were playing with Parasol. Uh, I mean, Parasol can do like, that all the time though. Like Parasol's yeah. moves hit behind her like crazy. In fact, the squid was able to do that much. That's kind of weird. How do you play band? Like I'm not just thinking about it. Like you don't seem to like like band anytime I hear you I talking do. about them. I do now. Okay. All right. It's just you don't seem to be a fan of them as much as wigs. Oh my god, that's so bad. It's okay, this is funny. <laughs> well, that was well, a fair fiesta. <laughs> that should have been a daisy and not an SBO. Would that even have um, stopped segment? Because she would have been in the air. Oh, she wouldn't have been segment yet. If I did center stage daisy, they would have never had a chance to do it. Oh, that's right, because, like, the flash for reasons and stuff, they didn't get hit by the thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Oh, nice grab. That was smart. I'm being fucked up. Oh my god, come on. Wow, 
Wow. Why do you keep doing, um, what do you call it? Squiggly's like, uh, song super, like the one above her head. Depends on what situation. It's just, I usually keep seeing you do that. Usually in neutral, you're doing it against Eliza. I'm not usually doing it in neutral against Eliza. I am doing it when I'm under pressure from Eliza because I'm trying to DHC out and I drop my input. Ah, okay. Speed on to D, uh, SSJ is like a slightly tight input, so I can mess that up. Fair enough. Also, Servon is wondering why you're not joining him for the voice chat, or are you just not going to? Oh, I didn't even know he was in the voice chat. I was just gonna play this first time and then call it a day. There we go. That didn't kill! Why? Was scaled by two supers, that's probably why. I did see though. Yeah, but it hit them with squigglies as well. What? Nice scarecrow. Wow, damn. That's not what I wanted. What? Why? Why didn't my e-break come out? Alright, that's fine. Everything's fine. Going to that other call, Sam? Yeah. Alright. Let's go. In. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I thought you'd never join. <laughs> I had no idea you were even here. You said uh, that? I, I posted two messages in the, <laughs> in the stream stuff. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, when I'm streaming Skulkus is full screen, so I don't oh, actually I get see. to see what I'm playing. I have two screens, that's why I couldn't. I could uh, follow uh, everything. Nice. You're really cool. Sorry. I didn't know. Yeah, I, I have a second screen, but I never not... set it up. Yeah, it's just sitting in my room. I hope I'm not too rusty for you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're fine. It's coming back. I can see it. And I hope it's not too laggy as well. Uh, it's a tiny bit laggy, but that's fine. Yeah, sure. Well, we have 150 yeah. many seconds, which is which starts to be a lot, but. Oops, that is okay. not.
What? <laughs> no, stop. Oh, crap. I thought I had the charge. That's not what I want. That's okay. Ah, oh. still. Okay. We just get hit in the classic. No. Yeah. All right. All right Serve me well. The wishing machine. <laughs> huh. No. Hello. Oh, what? <laughs> Lock that. that she doesn't care. Ah, oh, no. Alright. That's okay. Oh, never mind. I thought you were going to still be in Okay, mode. okay. My muscle memory is not there. Okay. Snap! Snap! I'm fine. Fucking fine. snap! No, just use your meter up. I'm okay with this. I don't need meter. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have time. Uh oh. Ah! All right. Fine. Meshing DP so hard. <laughs> <laughs> the first one doesn't connect. Never mind. I just do another how one. How did you even get hit though? Like, how did it hit you out of the startup of DP? Was it just a bad mash? I think I was um, uh, a combination of uh, lag and uh, bullshit and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> combination of lag and skull girls, got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, usually skull girls can do pretty amazing situations, and when you have lag on it, it becomes even better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming, Valentine. <laughs> Glad you could join the show. Oh my god, so hard on Scooby. Oh, that was confusing. I love my Eliza resets. I mean, Eliza assist. Spiral is real good. Oh, nice. Oh no, too far. I had the charge. Damage. I still got it. I mean, that was just autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> Old man crank beats an autopilot. That's okay. <laughs> Sam ever joined this call? Yeah, what? I did. Oh, okay. You just silently sit in there. Yeah, I've got nothing to say. Just got nothing to say. You're just so in awe. I He's the thing. 
He's listening at us with voices. <laughs> it's it's so it was so loud, so it was so. Was it? Yeah, there was no point in like talking because yeah, you know, he's in the background and stuff. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, okay, that's fine. You didn't shake. Everything's fine. Nah, I did not. I noticed I could have. Still blocking low, why? I don't know man. I'm autopiloting my low blocking. <laughs> Hello? 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 It's dry trap. What? It's dry trap. Oh, they joined the call. Mm hmm. Well, too bad. This looks compromised, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a comeback at this point would have been a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah, so it's over, just, just take it. I'll, worry. I'll save my energy for the next one. <laughs> I was already in the, la in the it's next not, It's not an open way. lobby, by the way. Dry traps, they're doing the first to 10. Maybe it just one spectates. Uh, I don't know. So watch it live. Yeah, kinda. Maple Crest. My stage. You say, you don't pay pay well. This is in opposition to uh, Nightmare Crest, which, which is the stage of Nephros. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, that's the meme. <laughs> Dang rivalry. Why is there so many dogs on the roofs? I'm now just noticing that there's a lot of puppies on the roof. Because this is the peppy crew, uh, peppy place. Oh my god, that backdash was so scary. But there is a dog person in the background, so it might be just their kids playing on the race. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. The lore of this game is so weird, you would never know. <laughs> yeah. I meant to do like rest. I messed up. Yes, please. Hey. Nice. Wait. Oh, I don't have meter. Oh, no. Very good. <laughs> this is a cross up, by the way. Yes. I say that because it's been three times that you don't block it. <laughs> that's a demon on your ass. Oh, yeah, that's why. Sorry about that. Didn't notice. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that roll back. Okay. Oh, I Was didn't that the first base? Nah. <laughs> autopilot punishing you, man. I'm like, alright, he's autopilot, there's no way he's gonna bait anything. I was yeah. so gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on that 5 meter, you could have brought Eliza back to the show. That's That jumping light punch link is hard on Big Band. Ah, oh, okay. I have, to, I have to lab it a bit more when I take big breaks like uh, the one I just took. 
<laughs> this is almost a frame perfect. Is it really? Damn. What are we at? Like, just four? Okay, five to four. Oh, wow, I can catch up. Okay, it's not so bad. Oh, nice! Bam! And I die. Okay. Damn it. Oh my god! Building's too spooky for me. I'm afraid, Crank! No, absolutely not. I refuse. Well, well that's your fault. Yeah, yeah I kind of knew it. Yeah, you're right, level one. I, I didn't want to believe it. <laughs> 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 I was like, nah, it's not gonna do that. So has the life advantage, just gonna keep it a little bit longer. <laughs> I could have safely DHC, I, I, like, why wouldn't I? For the fun. For the lols. There we go. <laughs> For the show. <laughs> For the show. Don't do anything at all. Just block. Alright, five and five. Yeah, boy. Batman is catching up. Downloading me. <laughs> I'm surprised I could still do my BNB. Like, I dropped it like three out of four times, but I was happy I even got it once. Excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I have no excuse, I'm just bad. <laughs> okay. Lights punch drop. Autocorrects! Not at all. Hello. Oh my god, what the heck? Whoa. Crazy Valentine mix-ups. Very well. Ah, oh, you're too high. What? No! That's fine. This raw attack is fine. I was so scared I stopped pressing button, I should have continued. Nope! Very well, <laughs> that one knife. That one scapel. That man's blocking low. Nobody does that. I'm surprised I could block on this. Just gonna head. Train up. I can say more. Nope. Okay. Ah, huh. I didn't know how I ended up on that side, but I'm okay with that.
Okay. Oh no, I can't believe I dropped that. That sucks. What? Oh my god, bird insurance. What? Not today. Nice! No one does that. Nobody even knows that's how Europe. it works. <laughs> In Europe we know, because we got a lot of squigglies. <laughs> I'm jealous. Oh my god, I can't, I can't. I couldn't see anything. That sucks. Ah, all right, fine. This is fine. Why do combos when you can ju just do jump it's heavy punch, punch multiple times? Just close your eyes <laughs> and hope for the best. Yeah, we we know all the squiggly tricks in Europe because a lot of people are playing it. That's crazy. I mean, you guys, yeah, you guys have Afros, Tony, you. Yeah. Who else is a? Is there any other big squiggly player there? Uh. Yes, there is Waranoi, also known as Waifu, but oh. it doesn't. Yeah, yeah he, he played a little bit on Get Great sometimes. <laughs> there is Toffle, which is a very good squiggly. Is Jedi but... NA or EU? Uh, EU, EU. Oh, so uh, but but uh, we we suck at Eliza, we suck at Double, <laughs> we suck at Fuqua. <laughs> Regional matchups. Those exist. Ah. Ah, oh, nice grab. You nice grab. Okay. You're not autopiloting anymore, this is a problem. I love Big Bang for this. <laughs> Infinite double. Ah! I strongly disagree <laughs> with this aircraft. Yes! No. Okay. What? No! <laughs> Only hands quickly. Forbidden. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> it's not the combo. Nope. That was supposed to be center stage. I was trying to center stage to <laughs> you. Oh no. Missing the quarter circles. Yeah. Man, I'm Terrible. all washed up. Second doesn't have me doing quarter circles. <laughs> I'm washed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wa is washed up in this game. Yeah, it's true. Skill ceiling has dropped so much because nobody plays. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they play this game? <laughs> they, well, the thing is, like, they'll play this game, they'll compete in this game, but no one will practice it. Like, you won't see people online just in land. All the time. Yeah. Before there used to just be lab streams. Like you would just be on streaming while being in the lab. The lab, but what yeah. is that? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking nobody... about the Switch Labo. Haven't you heard of it? Because it's one of those things. It's like I think people are just done with labbing this game mostly. <laughs> Unless it's just like people I... are focusing on other competitive games right now. Yeah. I don't think anyone's done labbing. It just. Like, well, I was done having the day I played. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I lost Valentine, that. I lost this game. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it works? Feel free yeah. about that then. What? I'm just blocking! No. Oh, this is sad. I know that doesn't work, but still I do it. Screw me. You walked forward an inch and then just down backed again? 
I was so close. I will come here. Oh my <laughs> god, come on. There we go. No, like dash. Okay. Oh my True god. double jump, I guess. Cruise quickly, I guess. You pressed the button? I did not think you pressed yes. the button. Yes. We are scary in Europe, we press buttons. Ah, oh, fuck that. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck quickly. <laughs> Dead. Hey. According to Nephros, my strongest character is Squiggly, so if I lose one time, normally I can keep up. Oh, okay. I mean, I see you... Maybe it's just because I play Squiggly, but I recognize all your resets, so I'm just like, oh yeah, I know what to do here, I know what to do here. Squiggly yeah. has nothing dirty. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, if you played Valentine, you would recognize all the resets. When I play against Nephros, I know exactly what it's doing every, every, really? uh, okay. at all time. There are certain resets that Valentine will do, like I've fought enough Valentines, but I feel like there are certain resets that'll just always work. Like that instant overhead, I have no idea how to react to it. How does anyone yeah. react to that? My, my favorite is Jump. cross down, cross up overhead. <laughs> wow. You don't react to it, you pray. You, cr you just yeah. pray. Exactly. You pray. How you react to it is by... How you react to it is by uh, asking God. To give you <laughs> a shield this day. Oh my god. I don't have charge. Bye. Nice. I always. This always gets me. Oh no, I pressed a button after my cancel. Oh my god, this is strong. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I had no idea what side <laughs> I was on over you. Because you step forward when you do level 3. Super slow. Overhead. And that's why it's wor it works. Every time. I'm fine. I oh, can't wait to not stop mashing. <laughs> nope. Was a DP. <laughs> DP motions. Why are you so hard? I'm gonna buy your hitbox. Wow. Get over here. Very well. Okay. Okay. Oh! You finish this? Oh, you can't. Oh my God! I got hit anyway. Squiggly and her hitboxes. I really need to learn combos. That's works 100% of the time on Squiggly yeah. as Eliza because apparently my BNB isn't 100% Squiggly proof. <laughs> Is it like, like it won't work in the corner or something? Like how does, what do you mean it's like not 100% Squiggly? Uh, usually the last train drops because Squiggly is too high. Oh, uh, okay. So maybe I gotta do like standing light punch instead of uh, standing light kick. That probably would. Stuff like that, you know? Yeah. But I would need to hit the lab. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> forbidden. <laughs> forbidden. 
If you hit the lab, you'll have to choose cool this player. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you, do you think Sally Fox has time to hit the lab between tournaments? No, he does not. So. He, like, he's too busy winning in like 15 different games. Yeah. No! I was too slow. I had time to see myself cross down. That means I was too slow. Surprise! Surprise me. Oh, welcome back! Ah! Dead. Alright. Screw that. Oh, I couldn't hit. That sucks. Oh, okay. I was too greedy. What? Oh, I didn't have OTG. Oh, that's right, because of giant stuff. Wow, I'm dumb. What? What? Which side am I? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? No! Oh, not the overhead. If I do slow resets, you don't block them, so I have to do them. <laughs> oh my god, my standing light punch. I can't believe that. Get the trumpet out. That'll show him. Come here. No. I was dead anyway, so I had to try. <laughs> this fucking grab. Nice tech. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Here comes the level 3. I messed up. I was actually talking up. about me. <laughs> I'm so sad I did that. Oh! Right break down! Alright. 7 to 8. This is probably the closest first to 10 I've ever had. It's almost always 0 to 10. Maybe I'm do doing it on purpose because we don't play that often, so I'm making it the moments during uh, <laughs> making I the moments last long. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, talking in English at this late hour. What are you making me do? <laughs> what time is it over there? Uh, midnight. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming you have like a you have a stable work schedule, right? Like it's like Monday to Friday, nine to five, kind of thing. I'm, yeah. We can say that. Ah! Oh, that's way too much. I'll always get me. No, it was not what I wanted to do. Ah! Oh. I saw it. I saw it. I was attempting a reset that is not working on Squilly, so I cancelled my attempt. Dead? Yes. That's not fun. Hola. Oh, I tried to jab out of it. Plus. I mean, 
Super secret dress for Eliza. Yes. That's a super secret dress? Yes, that's a super secret dress. The super secret dress was the one where she just goes, deal with it. And it's a bunch of like tiny ribbons. Yeah, there's actually two of them. This is the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. What does she wear if you taunt at the very end? Uh, nothing special. Nothing. Just That's what I was hearing. <laughs> just a skeleton. That's what I was hearing. <laughs> she wears no. She wears segments. Yeah. <laughs> She's so naked that she only has bones. That's true. Yes. The true insides. But what if she takes either bones? Like her bones. <laughs> see her bone marrow, like like yeah. most red bubbly stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah! Surprise! Oh, oh! Ooh, you pressed the button. I, I can't it. believe it. Got DC, and I'm gonna be sad. Nah. <laughs> Scared. I'm actually pressuring you from afar. <laughs> That's squiggly. <laughs> That's squiggly. Well, there is no neutral one squiggly has a charge, so you know. Mm -hmm. It's safe to say that she can pressure from afar. I was. Oh, you tell That green bounce doing you dirty. Doing me dirty, I guess. Ah. No. Okay, well. <laughs> wow. Surprise. Damn, this again. I will never learn. <laughs> and when when I will learn, I will Hit the breath, the breast in the face. Yeah, like <laughs> the day you learn, it's just gonna be like, oh, now the mix begins. No. How's my hat? You threw knives in my hat. Oh, nice. Safe. Hello. <laughs> I'm loading just in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that center stage. <laughs> I was like, hmm, what, why am I loading a vial just in front of <laughs> just Big Just like Man's right in my face. It's like, <laughs> welcome to the office. Like, hey, Big Man, can you just m move back a little bit? I, I can't raise my arm too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, Big Bang, give me some personal space right now. <laughs> exactly. You know what is fun? Squiggly thing assist with mortar drop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, that's not mean. <laughs> or like, uh, what's it called? You, center stage, with center stage charge, you, you can use center stage assist and get a, like, fully reactable 360. Like, you can react to anti-air or 360 with that one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The true unblockable setup in this game, it's amazing. No, I don't have meter. Wait, I do have meter. Why didn't it work? Were you on the other side of me? Because you did not believe too much in it. I guess so. What you're telling me is I need to play Valentine to be able to deal with these resets. I'm sorry, yes. what? So I need to play Valentine to be able to learn how to deal with these resets? Yeah, totally. Oh, it requires another 200 hours of Skullgirls. Only 200? That's not even so bad. Only That's a bargain. Only 200. Damn. Not a hard character to learn, only takes about like a third of a year. You're good. Okay. That hurts. I'm so dead. You didn't drop, right? <laughs> Dragon I, like, I thought drop. I was gonna drop like way before that, but that it worked out. Oh no, the 
doggy. Hello. Ah, it's not a snap. <laughs> never snap. Never, don't never snap. Well, you know, the thing is, like, nice. if you can consistently block it, like, if you're confident you can block it, like, they're just gonna keep going overhead, they are, you're losing meter, I save a meter, and I get to hit you while it's happening. So it's like, there's actually very re little reason to snap other than you're, like, afraid that you're gonna get hit. So, so you're, c like, confident to say that she can consistently block segments yeah. every, every time. She has only one yeah. low, and that's, like, the one where she, like, flies forward like an idiot. I mean, she also, she it can also do low. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do low with segments. <laughs> like not really. If you really think about Those it, who goes low people. with segments? You should also just have stopped after that game. No, oh, it's my night. Yeah, exactly. Should have stopped. Would've been funny. <laughs> the perfect never have known. Perfect skunk. And then do the last game off stream. Frank is gonna win because he's the host, so I have to respect it. That's my OS. <laughs> <laughs> I did not lose, I'm just polite. I have the French manners, you know? Nice. Mm -hmm. You know, French manners. <laughs> French manners. Oh, f I don't know. Are French really known for like manners and stuff? I, I have no idea. I'm not. Yeah, they are. Okay, I believe you. Oh, I tried to car cancel. That sucks. What? No. So what if, you need, <laughs> if you need more help, um, next time, Jar, you're you're free to like sign up. Also, every Wednesday there's a tournament that you can actually join. <laughs> if you're still here, that is. <laughs> I thought you were talking to Servan for a second. So I'm just like, oh my god, you gonna talk to Servan that dirty? Like he hasn't even lost yet. And you're just like, oh yeah, if you need help. Oh no, no, I was talking, I was talking to Jar, so... Cause he's, he was like saying like, thanks for the help and everything, so he was. Oh yeah. So if he's still here, like, you can, you can join, you can join next week as well as like, um... On Wednesday there's a tournament. Like an actual tournament, not like, uh, a help stream or anything. No! Why like this? Ah, oh, okay. interesting. Fine. Oh! Alright. Full convert. You have a meter. Don't drop this. You can do this. I believe in you. Drop it. Oh my god, you went for a reset anyway. The bullet. Drop it. Do never reset. Do never I'm reset. No, I'm too scared. I'm cancelling right now. That's not a reset. <laughs> That's not a reset. <laughs> can we ban him? The clean 50 hit. You can't ban me. I'm not even in here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well played. That was good. Well played, Crank. That was really fun. Yeah. We should, I should do sets with you more often. I just don't play this yeah, game. Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> you really say should. that every time. You say that every time, and you cut me every time. <laughs> I'm sorry. My fault. <laughs> yeah, I'll work on okay. that. It's an acquired skill. I gotta lab that out, you know? It's okay. I don't have much time these days, too, because the work takes me a lot of time. Yeah. And I'm starting to learn a little bit of piano, so it takes quite a long time, too. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Is it, too, is it ever too late to learn piano? Nah. Is it what? Is it ever too late to learn piano? Nah, never. I should pick that up. I used to play piano when I was a kid. Like, I didn't know much, I just knew a bunch of exercises and then my teacher stopped showing up. And, okay. Nah. For now I'm just learning songs by heart and then at some point I will uh, work a little bit on my uh, reading. Oh my god, I still gotta read your... Newspaper thing. I have it open on my phone. Oh my I god! Never, I never that, read it's it. been so much time. It's since still I... there, right? <laughs> like I'm gonna read it today. I'm vowing I'm gonna read it today. You got like 30 seconds to spend on my video and 15 minutes on my paper. <laughs> got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do what you want, mate. <laughs> you do what you want. I, I'm not here to give you orders or anything. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us with Skullgirls Get Great. We go live every Saturday at uh, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, etc. Uh, if you guys want to apply what you've been practicing here, feel free to um, sign up for our Subscribe. Wednesday weekly tournament, which is Be Great, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you're just here for the skill, then don't worry, we'll be here every week. And uh, we'll 
we'll talk to you later. Have a nice time. I think Dry Trap really wants to play a game, so I'm gonna play one game with him and then call it a day. Feel free to subscribe and give bits that will be used. Uh, we don't know, but we'll find out. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all donate. I mean, we're a non-profit stream. All donations and everything go straight towards funding and increasing the prize pool tournament. But no one ever donates. Oh yeah, that's true. So there is that. Yeah, that's true. We do use the bits. We do use your money. We just it just kind of goes not to us. Yeah. Right. Oh, by the way, I'm yeah, glad I have you there because money. <laughs> uh, I I'm going to Nephros's place at some point. Remember when I was at Nephros's place? Nephros's place, and we you, you ran a uh, Scourge's B grade, and there, there, were, there was Cloud and everyone, and that was cool. Oh, yeah, remember that I remember tournament? That. Yeah, well, maybe maybe that can happen again. Uh, when is Scourge's B grade in August? In August? Um, yeah. I mean, it's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. The prize pool one is the fourth week of the month, so can Sam, can you look up the date for that? For which one? The August B grade prize pool. August B grade prize pool, so... Okay. If we can't last one of these it's the 28th. The 28th? Uh, yeah, Nephilim will take place at this moment. I won't be there though, but like, Nephilim is from the 19th to the 1st September, and I'll be there from the 22 to the 25. So I won't be able to organize this stuff, but if they wanna join the thing, yeah, like last fine. time, they could. Yeah, that'd be really cool. And may maybe this time Big Ben Pro 69 won't be dead drunk. <laughs> yeah, it'd be good to see him play again. It's been a while since I've seen him play. I love seeing him play. Yeah, he's fun. It wasn't to Humble Breaker. So sad not to see him on stage again. We had the biggest like, EU turnout, what, Humble Breaker 2018? Or was it 20 something? I think it was 2018, right? Yeah, 2018. That was fun. Maybe next year he will. Get there. Yeah, that'd be cool. We can oh, get, like, this is still very, else. very hard for us to to go breaker. I mean, I would have come earlier if that wasn't that expensive. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can. I can't even imagine how expensive it must be because like, it's international and all that. But it is the biggest Skullgirls tournament, so you could make yeah, it. Yeah, I, mean, I think like the the journey can cost something like uh, one thousand five hundred euros uh, or something. That's pretty good. See. Yeah. I expect it around like 1100, but yeah, it is still really pricey. But, I mean, I don't need to come to Combo Breaker because I know that uh, you're the one that's gonna come to European tournaments, right? <laughs> what? Is there a big major <laughs> in Europe for Skullgirls? There's a couple uh, there is a lot I know of... that are there, but they're usually like only 20 30 people. Well, that's because that's as much player, active player as we have in Europe, and that's why. That's unfortunate. Maybe when I win, <laughs> maybe when I win a major and uh, take all that prize pool money, I'll use that to fly over. In Europe, in Europe, uh, a major Skurgis tournament. There's something. It is a tournament with like 30 people in it, mm -hmm. and uh, with the prize pool, maybe you can pay you your return trip uh, with after the train to the airport, but definitely not to the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. First of all, we are a fighting game community, and we are the, the less head esports practice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And Skurga is like kind of a, a niche game, so. Yeah. I'm not not really. What's the biggest one in Europe like in the year? The biggest one, well, I think right now, well, it was Tekken for a while. Uh, when Soul Calibur came out, it was the biggest one. Uh, right now, I don't know which one. Is standing up there, probably. I don't know. I know Smash takes a, a big place, but there is still discussion if we shall count it into the FGC or no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, I feel like actually, even with Smash Bros., I still feel like the biggest fighting game is still Tekken. Like, when you look at like how many people are watching the game instead of just playing the game, yeah, there's a lot Tekken of people in this game. Crowd. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'd say currently the major things are Tekken, Street Fighter V, and um, I don't know, put there or something like Soul Calibur or Dragon Ball. Lost kind of a lot of player lately. Does Samurai Showdown have any love or no? Oh yeah, I did not um, look at the numbers for this new game mm -hmm. uh, because I 
there wasn't any major in Europe since it came out. Oh, okay. So I can't tell. I think the... the well, let me check my Discord when it is the next major. I think it's Revo in uh, in London. That's London. In UK. Sam, you should go. Where am I? Should we go to what, Shai? You should go to... To Revo. Uh, to Revo. Uh, the... To Revo. In London. No, that costs money. Well, use it. Money is here to be used. Yes, money is here to be used. But I don't use money. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sam's allergic to money. I'm quite the opposite. You're allergic to money. Money is more allergic to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, just know if if you come to Revo, there will be a lot of uh, people from the European Scorpius community, so you won't be alone. I will be. <laughs> Don't know anybody in the Skullgirls community. That's oh, from uh, in Europe. Are you no server on? Yeah, that's true. And I mean, one my first, time. my first time talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. You are always talking to me through the through the stream. This is just the first time I answer. <laughs> true. All right, I should actually probably close it up. I'm gonna play this one last game and then call it. Call it today. Okay, what, what did you say Reaper was? Servon, what did you say Reaper was? Uh, I did not say it. It is uh, mid-October. Mid-October. Uh, the, the, let me see. The 11th, 11th uh, to 13th. And it will be nice. This is not the biggest one uh, in Europe. Uh, the biggest one is probably Destination Fight, uh, happening in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And here I'm talking about the tournaments that have Skurgers in the in the game pool, which is not all of them, and probably and surely uh, the biggest one don't have Skurgers as a main game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there is the mix-up, which is a pretty big one lately. But uh, Skurgers is just a side event there. But yeah, I think the the biggest one, the latest biggest one, is, was the mix-up 2018, 19, 19. And the nice thing is that it, it's happening near my home, so I'm part of the local FGC that is organizing it. So I was part of it. Oh, that's cool. That was a real big tournament. We had like Americans, Koreans, Japanese people coming. It wasn't Sunny Fox though, but <laughs> it was a big yeah. Does he go to I mean, international there was, tournaments? I don't think I've really seen There was one. there was Daigo, there was Tokido, there was Nemo, you know, all the chap. And uh, in Americans there was uh, you know K Brad Recorders. All those big names from the Street Fighter scene. There was some big names on Tekken too, but I don't know them because I don't know the Tekken scene uh, at all. I mean, Arsene Ash is probably going to be going everywhere now because he is now just undeniably the best player in the world. Yeah, it's really cool. You, you rarely get to see someone that's like not Korean be someone that pro pro uh, dominant in Tekken. It's really really cool. Either way, I'm going to shut the stream down. Later, guys. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.